Oh man, we have a lot to unpack. Stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna give the official final score of the Nintendo Direct. Oh, we almost have a Reggie Fisa, man! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we've had the much anticipated nintendo direct it's been over a year and i have to be honest my final review my final score is based on expectations expectations were very very high for this direct so did nintendo deliver let's talk about it first i'm gonna highlight the big announcements the big games my thoughts and then we're gonna give it a final final score so first the direct started off with pyra pyra revealed in smash and my camera is not focusing oh no it's back oh we focused so pyra was announced and i have to admit i was i was a little excited just because it's a new character but not real big on the Xenoblade um, franchise and series. And so I was a little after just, this is all my thoughts after just marinating, thinking on everything. Because my raw re reaction is, oh, new Smash character. I'm going to be hyped regardless. But I have to say, there were a couple of other fighters that I think would have been, should have been ahead of Pyra. She looks cool. She looks dope. Anime. Um, she reminds me though <laughs> of a Fire Emblem fighter. Arr! With the sword and she just reminds me of another Fire Emblem fighter. And we have plenty of Fire Emblem fighters already in Smash. So another crowded sword fighter for Smash. Next, Fall Guys officially announced for Switch. This is what Mario Party Online should have been for the Switch. I have this game on my PlayStation 5. Dope, fun, fun game. Definitely going to be playing this with the sponsors. Next, a new Monster Hunter Rise Rampage trailer. This game is looking fantastic on the Switch. Day one by easy. The next announcement, and this is when I was finally, officially super hyped for the Direct. And this was my problem with the Direct. A lot of fluff, too much fluff in between stellar announcements. Again, it's been over a year since we had a Direct, and so I keep saying Direct, that's how I'd say it. And since we had a direct and so my expectations were super high and i wasn't super hyped until mario golf super rush the game looks great it's, it looks like it's gonna have online multiplayer if you're you don't even have to be a fan of golf these golf games are always well made polished fun fun games and so this is gonna be a day one buy hype for the mario golf game and this was the first time in the direct i was super hyped and this was a couple of minutes in um a few minutes in too long it took too long for them to get to a real real big announcement in my opinion next plant versus zombies officially coming to the switch um dope game fantastic game it did look a little you could see where um the, they did scale back the graphics a little bit for the switch but as long as they nail the frame rate if the frame rate is solid this is going to be a fun game a great addition this should have been a launch game on the switch so this was a dope announcement and i'm glad day one metopia this game was fire on the 3DS and 
I saw today that the game is gonna be $50, $49.99, ouch. On the 3DS, I think the game was like 35 bucks. So, Miitopia is coming to the Switch. I'm still gonna pick the game up. You play as your Miis in an RPG game. Uh, so this was a dope, another dope announcement. Dope, dope, dope. Next announcement was Project Triangle. Again, I'm removing all the fluff out of the Direct. There were a couple of smaller announcements that I didn't really care for. But Project Triangle, this game looks like it's going to be dope. Um, it looks like a spiritual successor in a sense to um, Octopath Traveler just because it has the same art style, but more of a Final Fantasy Tactics type approach in the strategic element, but uh, it looks dope. There is a demo available now on the eShop. I still haven't downloaded the demo. I will be downloading it to try the game out. Bro, this is one of the announcements that stole the show for me for the Direct. Star Wars Hunters, a online multiplayer shooter coming to the Nintendo Switch this year. When I saw that title, Hunters, I immediately thought of Metroid Prime Hunters. Bro, Metroid Prime 4 needs to have some kind of online multiplayer or else I'm going to be tight. But we didn't see any gameplay. All we saw, I need y'all to see that again, what we just saw. So it showed a Jedi, a Stormtrooper, two Stormtrooper, and a um, Wookiee with like battle, uh, battle axes or hammers or something, showing that there's going to be different classes, character types. I'm all in for this game. I'm hoping this is not an isometric dungeon crawler type game. That you're actually third person behind your fighter. Something similar to Rogue Company. If that's the case with this game. Oh, I'm going to have a ball playing this game. Now, it is free to play. But Rogue Company is also free. Is it free to play yet, Rogue Company? Where you get one character and then you unlock other characters. I'm fine with that. As long as the game is lit and polished, sign me up. The next game, controversial. Knockout City. It looks like it's going to be a dope, dope game. But I got burnt with that Ubisoft Battle Royale game in the city, in a city type environment. And that's immediately what I thought about when I saw this game. So I'm waiting for a demo where we can actually play this game, get our hands on it. I like the concept. It looks like it has the potential to be a great game. I also have to see the performance. How does it run, run on the Switch to before I give a final jury? But Knockout City, keep your eyes peeled for this game. Now, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I saw a lot of dudes hype for this. I have to be honest, I wasn't hyped for this. Um, um, I don't know, it's just something about the game is, these are older, older, older games, bro. Ninja Gaiden, dope games. But there are going to be other games that I know are going to be released around this time that I'm going to want to play. But eh, it was a cool announcement. Next, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity announced. Um, this is DLC. This was DLC announced in the Direct. I have to be honest. Now, I love this game. Um, love this game. I love the story primarily. But I have to say, after I beat this game... I was pretty much done with it. I don't see myself going back even for the DLC. Now, nah, let me let me wait. Let me wait and see what other games are released around the time of the DLC. This isn't at the top of my list. If there's nothing else to play, I would pick it up and go back. Because Hyrule Warriors, dope, 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 fantastic game. Bruh! They announced. Skyward Sword coming to the Nintendo Switch. This was the second announcement that I was super hyped for. Now, y'all saw this. It was Mario Golf and then all the way. No, the Hunters game. I was hyped for that. And then Skyward Sword. Another fantastic game. My thing with the Direct was I was expecting back to back to back bangers, bro. It's possible. I remember when the PS5, Sony did their PS5 games um, reveal um, presentation. It was back to back to back. Miles Morales, Grand um, 
um, Gran Turismo, Kena Bridge of Spirits, Ratchet and Clank. It was back to back. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I didn't get this. It was so much fluff in between of games that I didn't really care for. This game is going to be a dope, dope, dope game. I'm glad that they added the right stick to it. Because um, I was going to figure, I was trying to figure out how are they going to do this on a Switch, especially a Switch Lite. But Nintendo figured it out. One of my favorite Zelda games. There were some parts in the game, the dowsing with the sword, some of the repeated fetch quests where you were trying to get the spirits. Um, were brought the game down a little, but the dungeons and Skyward Sword. And bro, the Joy-Cons! These Joy-Cons are fuego! I hope that means fire in Spanish. Those Joy-Cons are lit, bro. And so Skyward Sword announcement, I was all in for that. They also did show No More Heroes. Um, I have mixed feelings with this game. When I just look at the core combat, it looks dope. But then it seems like there's so many different like side quests, like cutting grass and stuck mining. I know I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be like, what am I doing right now? And so it seems like there's gonna be a lot of, just like the direct, a lot of fluff in between the action and combat in this game. So I might, this is another game where it's not at the top of my list, but if there's nothing else coming out, I would play it. So, and then they ended it with Splatoon 3. It was a lot, it was this, at this, before Splatoon 3, I was giving the direct a D. A, um, it, right, it was standing at a 6 out of 10 before the Splatoon 3 presentation. Splatoon 3 was lit. If you saw my reaction, my audio went out. I was so hyped. I like me. I love me some Splatoon. Now, if there's one thing to criticize, the characters do look very reminiscent of Splatoon 2. I mean, of course, it's a completely different stage. I like that you're launching off. I'm hoping that they give us something different than what we've been getting in Splatoon 1 and 2. Because here's my thing. I love the gameplay of Splatoon, but it's, it's getting repetitive now. It's getting repetitive. And so I'm hoping something changes with Splatoon 3 to get me more consistently playing the game. I think I burned myself out on Splatoon, especially Splatoon 1. I played it every single day, nonstop. And so Splatoon 2, I don't play it as much. And so I'm hoping I don't even lose, lose even more interest in Splatoon 3, but the potential is still there, fingers crossed. They nailed the gameplay with Splatoon. But other games like Roll Company have come in on the Switch and gotten my attention. So Splatoon 3 announced for the Switch. That's, um, that, that's how they ended the Direct. So what do I give the Direct? What is the official overall score? I have to give the Direct a C plus 7.8 out of 10. That's right. I'm using the decimal. Here's my thing. We went over a year without a direct. And so my expectations were through the roofs, man. I thought we were going to get a Metroid Prime 4 tease, Bayonetta 3 information, huge surprises. Mario Golf was cool, but we sort of know, knew some kind of sports Mario game was coming. They weren't just going to do tennis. Strikers. Super Sluggers, Baseball, or Golf was a given. And so we sort of knew that was coming. F-Zero, where are you at? Something crazy like a GoldenEye 007 remake. Something that would have caught us completely off guard. I did not get that with this Direct, unfortunately. So, it didn't meet my expectations. C plus 7.8 out of 10 is my honest, my honest opinion with the Direct. I think Nintendo could have done a lot, a lot better. So that was the Nintendo Direct. What do you guys think of? What would you guys rate this Direct? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All 
things Nintendo we are right you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me I gotta hook you up that's right I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice Xbox Nintendo or PlayStation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.